In this video tutorial, we will follow a few easy steps to create an interactive schedule in JavaScript using the MindFusion JS Scheduling Library. First, we create an empty HTML file that we name My First Schedule. We'll save it in a special empty folder that we have created for this sample. We also create an empty JavaScript file, also called MyFirstSchedule.js. It will hold the JavaScript code for this sample. We copy the MindFusion.Scheduling.js script file in the directory of the two files. We edit the HTML file. First, we add the basic HTML code that a web page needs. Then, inside the body tag, we create a div. The div element should have an ID so we can reference it from the js-code behind file. We style the div to take the whole page. Then, at the end of the page, right before the closing body tag, we add references to two JavaScript files. One is to the scheduling script, the other is to the myfirstschedule.js code behind file. Let's do a small fix to make our calendar take the whole page. Add position absolute to the style tag of the div. Now the calendar looks as it should. You now have a fully functional calendar. You can stop here or you can add some more features. In our sample, we will expand the calendar with a small treat for the user. Once they select a cell or cells, we will switch the view to a timetable to let them conveniently choose the time of their event or events. How to do that? First, we check the online API reference. We go to the support menu on MindFusion website, then online documentation, scheduling for JavaScript. Here is the calendar class. We check methods. There is one selection end event, which is what we need. It provides cancel event args, which lets us cancel the action, and select event args. The select event args class has two important properties, one for start and the other for end time of the selection. We go back to our JavaScript code and we wire up the selection end event. We will write handle selection, method for handling the event. The first thing to do in this method is to check if the calendar view is really single month. If so, we have to cancel the default behavior and then clear the dates of all timetables that were rendered previously. If the selection dates are correct, we add them to the timetable settings to be rendered.
Finally, we switch to timetable view. Now let's check if it works. Yes, when we select a date, the calendar does not show the appointment form anymore, but switches to timetable view. Here we can create appointments. That's good, but how do we get back to the month view? Let's say we want to do that when the user clicks on the header. We will handle another event on header click. We do this with the handle header click method. There we want to make sure that the view is timetable. This way we filter the cases when the user clicks on the header in the single month view. We assign the selected date to the date property of the calendar, and we change the view back to single month. Let's test the application. We click on a cell, and the view changes to timetable. Let's create an event. Now click on the header. The view changes back to single month and the newly created event is present in the calendar. Everything looks fine. With that, our video tutorial is done. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your interest in MindFusion developer tools.